Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and today's video is all about Luigi's Mansion 3, which obviously comes from Nintendo. Got an early look at this one, and uh, it's out tomorrow, October the 31st, Halloween of all days, of course, and it was uh, $60, £50 on the eShop, obviously physical version as well. So let's take a look at the game. So here we are, still very early on in this one, just at the start of the story. Um, we've arrived at the hotel and we've just sort of been woken in the night and uh, there's some strange goings on but we don't really know much more than that. The animation this is just excellent. This really is. I mean I played this at EGX recently and just was instantly impressed and I think this is one of the best looking Switch games that I've played. I mean like Mario Odyssey has its moments of looking just beautiful but this is right up there as well. Just the animation just really amazing. So here we are. I'm not sure what to do. Let's go through this door. That's just like my dog at the moment. We've got a new dog and he's just loving the trash can. Just found him face down in the trash can the other day. Bless his little heart. So we kicked the trash can. Got a gold coin. Not sure what they're for yet, but uh, I'm sure it will become clear. Can we do anything with these crates? Go look around for secrets, haven't you? Switch. Yeah. Like that. Okie dokie. Now, I assume a lot of you guys will be picking this up. It sort of seems to be heavily in the comments that um, you guys have been looking forward to this one. So I think it's going to be a lot of happy people tomorrow. Not going to do a full review on this one. I tend not to with the bigger games. They get more than enough coverage from uh, from the bigger sites. But I don't mind having a little playthrough, giving you some early footage. If you've not seen too much of this one yet, I'm sure you have, but still can give you my opinions. Huh? Just everything's haunted in this place. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh -huh. oh, it's the uh, the vacuum. I can't think of a name for it. It's late here. I've had a long day. I must say the uh, the sound was a little bit annoying. It sort of was a uh, quite clear to me. It's probably just me personally, and people will probably get annoyed at me saying this. But just like the sound in this game has been quite annoying so far. It's just like they've taken random sound bites from previous Mario and Luigi games and just stuck them all in. It does get a bit grating after a while, but that's just me being a miserable side. Right. So blinding the dog. This is about what I started playing at EGX from about this position. The ZR and ZL operate the blower thing. Blower thing. I think I'd have some sort of technical information, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's fine. Poltergust, that's what it's called, isn't it? Poltergust. Although, to be fair, if you've never played this series, and to be fair, I haven't. Um, the name hasn't been mentioned yet, so why would I know what that's called? But anyway. So now we can use it to blow stuff over. The port gust that both blows and sucks. But again, it just feels really nice to control. Oh, can we suck a mouse up? He's not happy. Ellie. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Mouse family. Oh, 
Oh, the heart, that'll do. So there's a stack of bills over here, so let's see if we can uh, blow those off the shelf. Nice. Now this game has got motion control, so here I'm just tilting the pro controller up and down. Obviously left and right still controlled by um, your right stick, but yeah, up and down motion controls, which feels really nice. You can be really precise. So I'm liking that a lot. Let's try this switch again. Now we've got the poltergeist. Maybe it's kind of waiting for that. I won't let us do anything now. Okay, so we need to find another way out. Sort of saw an X flash up. We could pick something up. So what's this? Aha! A kind of a hidden door. Fine. So these controls are a bit, bit weird, really. It's going to take a little while to get used to, I think. But like the right trigger spins you around, left and right. Obviously controls your torch. I don't. Know, it just feels really weird when you're moving around. Feels like the right stick should be moving the character for some reason. Hopefully, get used to it. We'll have that cash. Thank you very much. These money trees. Can't get in there yet. Let's have a look at the elevator. Ah! Maybe Polty Pooch will let us in. these little hidden areas in the uh, Nintendo games. It's so much thought into their level design. And who doesn't like getting stacks of rewards? Just awesome. I must say guys, this does really feel super good so far. Just everything is super smooth. I don't think it's 60 frames a second. I think it's 30. Though I believe it's been advertised as 60 in some places. But from uh, what the Contra Network, the guy that does all the uh, frame rate test videos, he put up a frame rate test video a couple of days ago and it was uh, quite clearly 30 frames a second. <laughs> Don't like leaving all these bits of paper around. Very. Very clean by nature. Might want to tidy those things up. Oh, what's that down there? Look, there's a gem or something. Can we get to that? Yeah, it's up on top of the. Whoa. Up on top of the vending machine. Ah. This is cool. Oh, this is motion controlled. It's like a crack in the wall. So that's quite cool. I wonder if we can um, do anything to get in there. Maybe we need another item. There's so many little things to look out for. It's awesome. I 
And as I said earlier, I've not played much of uh, any Luigi's match. I did have it on the 3DS, I think it was. Played a little bit of it, but wasn't that fussed for it, really. But and I was going to pass this one up, to be honest, until I went to EGX. I wasn't really, this wasn't really on my radar, to be honest, just because I'm not really a fan of the series. But since playing it at EGX and uh, talking to some of the Nintendo reps there and stuff, it's just really come into my, into my wish list. I don't know why I'm sucking all this stuff up. Seems to be getting cash for it, so... That's fine. Aha! So I'm sure you're aware by now, but if not, Luigi, Mario and all their friends have gone to this hotel for a specially invited retreat. And uh, they wake up in the night where all of Mario's friends have been locked behind picture frames. Uh, Luigi, sorry, all Luigi's friends. So Mario, Peach and, and Co. have all been magically put into picture frames and Luigi managed to escape and now he's trying to find out what's happened to his friends and get them back. Right, roll. Ah, oh, his right stick is really odd. He's, he's got to kind of just literally... I think it's because it feels like it needs to be inverted. Yeah, it seems to spin you around the wrong way. It feels really odd to control at the moment. Not in a bad way. I'll get used to it. No more ghosts. That's a bit odd as well. I need to press... Z, R, and A, but then you need to kind of let go of the right stick. Oh, intense. Oh, where'd that heart go? I needed that. Okay, pop, pop. I'm a coming. Then it cannot open that hatch by it. I wonder if I can, like, lift it up with the... With the beam. Doesn't look like it. But there is a heart there. We'll have that. Can you suck those in? Doesn't look like it. Okay, not to worry. I'm sure there's a way to get around there. Aha, I need a key. I mean, I guess the way the level's set up, we need to get in behind that reception desk. Let's collect these coins. Another load of coins, lovely stuff. Music's really cool and this as well, really nice and uh, atmospheric. Nice and creepy. Right, so how can we get into here? That's obviously got to move. I bet let's try our, uh, there we go. The old thunder move. I right, need that heart, we'll have that. There's the key. What else can we find in here? Some sort of button on the wall. I'm trying to suck the uh, suck the key down, but it's not coming. What else is in these drawers? Ooh, load of cash. Ah. 
The uh, HD Rumble, they've done a nice little thing with this as well, a bit like they did with other Nintendo games, but it kind of makes a noise. It does rumble as well, but the pitch that they've made the rumble adds to like the sound effects, so that's really cool. Can't get the key. Oh, there we go. Got being just the right spot to get that X prompt up. So now we've got the key. I wonder if we can do anything with this button. If we get in the right spot. No, it doesn't lock it. Okay, up you go, little fella. So it starts to run after you push in a direction for a certain amount of time. Luigi will start running. And here we go to the next area. Do, do, do. Ah, is it our first person to rescue? Is that the professor? do anything with the picture so what do we think we need to do follow the pup so it's worth stripping a plant of his leaves Key. That's fine. What's this way? Oh, what's that behind there? of charge or something? Hmm, not sure what that's about. A load of gold there. Come on, can we do this? Can we suck that up? Whoa! We'll take all the lovely dollars. It's basically a wreck in this place. That's a nice little puzzle as well. You can see like a switch on the wall there. Doesn't seem we can do anything with it yet. Okay, that's fine. So I'm still intrigued by what this what this does here, this A button prompt. Really, really strange. I don't know what that does, but it's obviously something behind there. Wow. Ah, there we go. There has to be something now. Ooh, magical gem. So it looks like there's six gems to collect. Then maybe there's six on each floor. That's cool. controls now so you can see a door here and there's a chest over here so we 
can see it in the mirror. Chest in the corner. It doesn't register in the world. Okay. Again, possibly it might be something I need to come back to. Be cool if like the uh, Poltergust pack had a size limit or something, just so you had to empty it. I mean, at the minute, you just you can just collect everything. But it'd be nice if you had to be a little bit more selective. So we can't go through the door. Fine. It's kind of a map here. And again, motion controls. of a bomb now. Fire extinguisher. So fire extinguisher. Oh no, it's a trolley cart, isn't it? A bomb. So trolley cart bomb. But now we can't get through that door. the way we came from must be something in that other room then maybe we missed something let's have another look oh, oh man. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Cause there's this kind of button on the wall Okay, so we've got the key. Let's go and have a look. And that other room. Oh! What now? Wanted posters. Getting used to that mechanic. That's really nice to capture these ghosts. Obviously, it feels very ghostbustery. And what about these posters? Am I meant to suck these up? Do you think to get rid of them? Don't want my face spread all around a hotel. Right, we've got the key for this now. Let's have a look in here. Uh oh. You said it already. Where you can sort of uh, get these sheets off of things. Well, that one doesn't seem to want to play ball. 
Well, that would indicate there's a big stack of money here somewhere. Ah, I see. There's a chest behind it. Okay. And these safes seem to be activated by a light, so you give them a quick blast of your torch. There's so many awesome little Nintendo touches in this. You guys are going to love this game. If you haven't got it already, you wait for tomorrow. It's a, it really feels like a doozy. Can't get that sheet off though. Why can't I get that sheet? Might as well clean these shelves up. Like a hoovering, hoovering simulator. Let's give it a bit of black light. Black light feels really awkward though, because you have to kind of hold it down, hold down X, sorry, and then obviously you can't easily use the right stick. It just feels a bit. A bit strange why it's been done like that. Anyway, what's this over here? Black lights revealed the dog. Hmm. Oh, this is just saying we need to follow him back out here. Ah, so if we shine our black light on here now, we should be able to get the professor out. That makes sense. So there we go. Let's go back to the Gary. So I'm going to leave the video there. It's just the first part, the first sort of 30 minutes or so of Luigi's Mansion. Excellent game. Really loving it. And again, like I say, if you're looking forward to it, you are not going to be disappointed, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, this game's obviously been reviewed um, by most outlets already. Scored gangbusters. I think it had a Metacritic score of about 86 last time I looked. So another excellent game for the Nintendo Switch. What a library this system's got. So, hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you like. Um, it would be really appreciated. And uh, I'll check you guys out on the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.